Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to the Rabbis CH YouTube channel. Welcome to my kitchen. Here I have a setup which is very new for me and it should be able to do some extracts using stream. No, steam. Steam. And the big bowl which I bought today and which is probably a bit too big for the for the pot but um, that can be changed in the future is just the condensator actually. The idea is there is water under that sieve, an empty bowl in the middle and some peppermint plants I got from my garden right now which should be extracted by the steam and condensing at the condensator at the large bowl here and then drip into the bowl in the middle and get collected as a steam extract of the peppermint plant. Now I let the whole thing run and then we will probably find out Yeah, the lighting is horrible. We'll see. I'll add a bit more water. If it works, I can do some more videos. So that should be enough water. I put that bowl on top. Size of upright gets flat is quite about the size of the small bowl in the middle. Then let's put me some ice. Who cares? It just has to be cold. Cold water. One liter. Seems to have done quite well. Hmm. Let's grab the cool eggs. It's not a bad thing they get a, a wash now every day in the way. Need more cold water. So Put everything in. So the bowl needs to be cold, that's the point. And then let's run the stove. Now I guess I give recording a break because it's not the most important thing to show something warming up especially if you don't see really much of it anyway maybe yes you can actually see that there here is a line where it get condensed water on the bowl so you can definitely see it even does condensate the water in the air which is 
comparably warm right now. Yeah, I'm summer. So it should work. It's cooking now. And there is a definitive smell like peppermint. Which was to expect actually. <laughs> but it's a good thing it also does what it ex I expect it to do. By the way, I always stop the recording and start it again when I want to say something, so you have a kind of a time lapse or a time jump, but without jump cuts. So, but it only took roughly five minutes for the water to heat up. It was probably less than one liter of water. And on this stove with full power, that, that's going quick. Now I let it boil. Not sure what temperature, but at the other hand, physics says there is not much temperature range actually to achieve because either you have the boiling temperature or you don't have the boiling temperature. There should not be much else. But it's getting some water out at the side, so I guess it's probably hot enough by now. But as I said, I want it to boil, so here we go. And I will get the mixture of substances from the plants with which get out of it at this temperature, which should be a roughly 100 degrees Celsius. I can do the Fahrenheit conversion, but you probably know at what Fahrenheit temperature water boils in your country. So it should not be a vast difference. It's getting a bit too much water out. Lower it. I just have to keep it boiling now. There's no need to cook it like mad. But I will let it cook for, I guess, 10 minutes and then check out what happened. Well, after 10 minutes of cooking, the water got considerably warm in the top because there is so much energy from the stove, so I can probably check what happened right now. I don't expect it to work too much longer at the moment with the, since the water is so warm. Okay, we already have a considerable amount of apparently water containing oils and also containing some black stuff. Maybe something burnt. Still steaming, but I guess I turn it off now. For this short time, five minutes maybe 10 in total with heating up. We already have something that doesn't look bad. Here we go. That's the result. The funny thing is that black stuff maybe it was just a bowl which the bowl I used as a concentrate, a condensator, which should be cleaned. Let's see. 
paste it. Yes, that's that's a strong menthol containing water. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's really really strong. I would say that I call it a success. That was great. I may have to filter it a bit or something, but for the first try, I'm very happy. I just need to fill it in to something else. Yeah. That's the famous me rummaging around in my kitchen part of videos. That will have to do for now. Just make sure it actually ends up in where it should. Here we go. Strong menthol water. And I have more in my garden. So, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you next time on this channel when I'm cooking something up. <laughs>